Chemical Hazards, MSDS 1. The acronym MSDS stands for A. Mass Safety Datasheet B. Material Security Datasheet C. Material Safety Datasheet D. Master Security Datasheet E. Miscellaneous Safety Detail Summary Answer is C. Material Safety Datasheet 2. In India, MSDS has been mandated under which law? A. The Manufacture, Storage and Import of Hazardous Chemicals Rules, 1989 B. The Chemical Accidents, Emergency Planning, Preparedness and Response, Rules, 1996 C. The Factories Act, 1948 D. The Central Motor Vehicle Rules, 1989 E. None of the above Answer is, A. The Manufacture, Storage and Import of Hazardous Chemicals Rules, 1989 3. Which one of the following statements is not correct about MSDS? A. It provides single reference for all information about hazardous chemicals. B. It is based on the recommendation of the United Nations Committee of Experts on Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemical. C. Material Safety Data Sheet forms the important elements of effective chemical hazards communication system. D. It is a document prepared by the manufacturers, suppliers of the chemical. E. It does not contain information on physical and chemical properties of the material, potential hazards of the material and how to work safely with these materials. Answer is, E. It does not contain information on physical and chemical properties of the material, potential hazards of the material and how to work safely with these materials. 4. Which one of the following statements is not correct about GHS? A. The acronym GHS stands for Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. B. The recommendations by the GHS committee are contained in Purple Book. C. As per latest recommendations on GHS, the safety data sheet should have information presented under 16 headings. D. The recommendations of GHS committee are binding on all countries of the world. E. UNGHS provides for the content and format of safety data sheets. Answer is, D. The recommendations of GHS committee are binding on all countries of the world. 5. After how many years, period MSDS sheets are normally required to be updated? A every year b every three years c every five years d no periodicity prescribe e every six months answer is b every three years six which of the following information cannot be found in msds a first aid measures b Accidental release measures. C. Composition slash information on ingredients. D. Handling and storage information. E. Medicine to be taken by the affected person if exposed to the chemical. A. Answer is E. Medicine to be taken by the affected person if exposed to the chemical. 7. Which of the following information is not provided in the section of an MSDS dealing with chemical identification? A. Name of the chemical. B. Name of the manufacturer and its address. C. Emergency contact number. D. Casno. Of the chemical. E. Toxicity of the ingredients of the chemical. Answer is E toxicity of the ingredients of the chemical. 8. The term chemtrex stands for A. 
Chemical Transportation Emergency Center. B. Chemical Training Center. C. Chemical Treatment Center. D. Chemical Toxicity Recovery Center. E. Chemical Toxicity Research Center. Answer is A. Chemical Transportation Emergency Center. 9. Which of the following information is contained in the section of the MSDS dealing with hazards identification? A. Toxicology of the chemical. B. The acute, short term, health effect. C. The chronic, long term, health effect. D. The signs and symptoms of exposure. E. All of the above. Answer is E. All of the above. 10. Which of the following statement is not correct about the term oral LD50 acute? Mg, Kg, Rat, expressed in MSDS sheet? A. The term LD50 means lethal dose 50 and it specifies doses of chemical substance expressed in milligram per kilogram body weight of the test animal. B. Test animal is rat and chemical has been given through oral route in short time frame. C. 50% of the test animals are likely to die when exposed to the dose and given through route specified. D. It indicates potential toxic effect of the chemical on health. E. The same doses of the chemical if given to another test animal will have the same result. Answer is E. The same doses of the chemical if given to another test animal will have the same result. 11. Which of the following information about the chemical substance is not provided in the section of the MSDS dealing with stability and reactivity? A. Flash point. B. Flammable limits. C. Fire hazards and explosion hazards. D. Firefighting media and instruction. E. Packaging of the chemical. Twelve. Which of the following is not correct about flammable limit of the chemical substance? A. It indicate the concentration range of vapors of the chemical substance, in which a flammable substance can produce a fire or explosion when an ignition source, such as spark or open flame, is present. b. Below the lower flammable limit, the concentration of vapor in air is too low to burn. c. Above the upper flammable limit, the concentration of vapor in air is too rich in fuel but deficient in oxygen to burn. d. All of the above. e. None of the above. Answer is, E, none of the above. 13. Which of the following option reflect the correct position with regard to flash point, flame point and auto ignition point? A, flash point flame point auto ignition point. B, flash point flame point auto ignition point. C, flash point flame point auto ignition point. D. Flash point flame point auto ignition point. E. Flash point equals flame point auto ignition point. Answer is B. Flash point flame point auto ignition point. 14. Which of the following statements is correct about flash point? A. It is the lowest temperature at which vapors of the substance will have unsustained fire in presence of ignition source. B. It is the lowest temperature at which vapors of the substance will have sustained fire in the presence of ignition source. C. It is the lowest temperature at which vapors of the substance will automatic start burning even without presence of ignition source. D. It is the lowest concentration at which vapors of the substance will have sustained fire if once ignited with ignition source. E. It is the lowest concentration at which vapors of the substance will automatic start burning even without ignition source. Answer is 
A. It is the lowest temperature at which vapors of the substance will have unsustained fire in presence of ignition source. 15. Which one of the following statements is correct about the term threshold limit value, TLV? A. A concentration level expressed in ppm, part of the vapor per million part of contaminated air, up to which it is believed a worker can be exposed day after day for working without any adverse health effect. B. A concentration level in ppm part of the vapor per million part of contaminated air, up to which a worker can be exposed for a day, 24 hours, for working without any adverse health effect. C. A concentration level in ppm, part of the vapor per million part of contaminated air, up to which a worker can be exposed for 12 hours without any adverse health effect. D. A concentration level in ppm part of the vapor per million part of contaminated air, to which it is believed a worker can be exposed for four hours without any adverse health effect. E. None of the above. Answer is, A. A concentration level expressed in ppm, part of the vapor per million part of contaminated air up to which it is believed a worker can be exposed day after day for working without any adverse health effect. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.